Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so friends, today I am going to discuss about this is an introduction to all SMPP messages. So what are the various SMPP messages that is exchanged between SMPP to SMSC or from SMSC to SMPP and what are the uses of those SMPP messages? I'm going to give a brief introduction of all these messages today. So in my later video, I will be giving a uh, total description of the messages. So friends, uh, today is an uh, introduction to all the messages, SMPP messages. So before going to start, I just want to uh, show you. Uh, I already uploaded in messages in my <clears throat> few more videos related to SMPP and SMSC in my uh, uh, my channel so you can view these two videos uh, before starting this it will give a good idea of how SMPP works how end-to-end -end SMPP works and also a brief uh, in-depth description of SMPP bind and unwind request so you can go through these two videos first then you can start it so let's start today's topic friends uh, So uh, here uh, we can see what are the messages that are exchanged between from ESME to SMSC. Uh, ESME means uh, the client, uh, client what messages it sends to SMSC. So we already know that uh, submit SM and data SM. These are the two messages it sends uh, for sending the uh, SMS uh, to the mobile station. So, uh, submit SM we know, but uh, data SM is also similar to submit SM also, but it can deliver the delivery report as well. So, submit SM basically from ESME to SMSC, but data SM also do the same thing like submit SM, but there are some other exceptional uh, cases are there where data SM is used. So, uh, there are various kind of... Uh, uh, storage methods in uh, SMSC where uh, submit SM may not be applicable where data SM is used. So this is where data SM is sent by the ESME where the storage method is different. So uh, submit SM and data SM both are basically used for mainly used for delivering the SMS to the uh, mobile station and this data SM is used in both direction. ESME can send it to SMSC as well as SMSC can send back this data SM to ESME as well. So these, uh, these are the two messages uh, ESME sends to SMSC and <clears throat> there are other messages like query SM, cancel SM and replace SM. These are the three various uh, messages which uh, ESME sends to SMSC as well. So what is query SM? Query SM is mainly used for uh, querying the submitted message. Like when you when you do a submit SM or uh, when you do a data SM, there are various storage policies in SMSC like store and forward methods are there, datagram methods are there. So basically uh, when you put a uh, put a submit SM, it can be delivered at a later time also. I mean, uh, it can be stored for some time, then it can be delivered uh, based on the time setting. Uh, in submit SM, you have option. In submit SM or data SM, you have option to uh, set the delivery time. So before uh, delivery, you can uh, you, you send a submit SM and it's stored in the SMSC. So to get the status of that message, you can do a query SM. So query SM basically gets the uh, status of the uh, message that you already submitted or data SM. So uh, another is cancel SM. So you uh, send an SMS, uh, you send a submit SM and if you want to cancel that SM, uh, that message at any time you can send a cancel SM. So ESM you can send a cancel SM to cancel a submitted message. And replace SM basically replace the previously submitted message. So these are the messages ESM is sent to SMSC. So uh, 
so basically we are saying as an uh, application esma developer you can send all these uh, messages to the smsc for uh, various uh, requirements as described here so these are the uh, esma to smsc and <clears throat> these are the responses that SMS sends to ESMA for these messages. So submit SM response, data SM response, query SM response, and cancel SM response, replace SM response. So, so these are the requests and responses uh, that is possible from ESMA to SMSC and SMSC to ESMA. Uh, so I will be giving a total description, one by one, uh, in-depth uh, video on all these messages uh, in the, my next videos. So uh, regarding, uh, there are two messages that I am not going to discuss today is the bind SM and the uh, bind unbind and the uh, outbind. So this I already uploaded another video related to this. You can uh, check that video. Uh, check my earlier videos so so here uh, now I am going to discuss about what are the messages that are possible from SMSC sends to ESME so previously I have discussed ESME to SMSC reversely SMSC can send messages to the ESME as well so like uh, deliver SM and data SM so like uh, you submit an uh, you did a submit SM with the delivery report. So the delivery report is sent in deliver SM message. So whenever uh, a submit SM uh, message reaches to the mobile station, so if the delivery report is mentioned in the submit SM, so uh, delivery report will be sent back to the ESME uh, by the SMSC. So uh, SMS can send a deliver SM message for the delivery report. Similarly, data SM, uh, when a mobile station, when you, you have an ESME as a transceiver or receiver ESME, that ESME can receive the messages from the mobile station as well. So when a mobile station sends an SMS to the ESME, so uh, that message is SMS sends this message to the ESME through data SM message. So this is where data SM is very useful. So SMSC to ESME is always data SM and ESME to SMSC it can be submit SM as well as data SM. <coughs> Okay, so uh, so all the messages has some response. Exception is an alert notification. So all uh, deliver SM, submit SM, cancel SM, all have uh, their own responses. But alert notification message has no response. So this is an exception. So what is alert notification? So alert notification message is a kind of message which is used for uh, alerting the ms uh, status like if you are want to send a message to the uh, to some mobile station and if that mobile is switched off or something uh, that uh, then you are not able to send the sms deliver the sms so when that mobile station is up so one alert notification message comes that the uh, uh, mobile station is up now uh, maybe it was switched off or something like that. So the mobile station when it will be up Then you will get a alert notification message. So this is a message uh, SMPP ESME can get uh, When the mobile station is up and based on that you can deliver your message again So similarly this uh, the message that I described earlier uh, in previous section has uh, responses. When you get a deliver SM, ESME can respond to SMSC with deliver SM response and data SM response. So these are the responses possible for request and response. So this is all about uh, SMSC to ESME and ESME to SMSC messages. So let's see what are the various uh, uh, various messages possible for alert handling, error handling. So there are some uh, like 
alert notification is there and there is another function another message is called generic neck if when you send a message when you do a submit sm or if when you send a data sm or reversely when you receive a message from the smsc then if there is something wrong in the pdu whatever message you receive if there is something wrong in the pdu then that message you send as a if there is some error you find in the stack then this message is uh, the error is sent over generic neck message so if if you make some mistake as a developer and you feel wrongly format or if your pdu is malformed and you send that pdu to the smsc smsc will respond back with generic neck message so this is where the generic neck message is used for error handling purposes so let's discuss about smpp timers so there are various timers smpp uses for uh, this is for session initiation timer inactivity timer and transaction timers so session initiation may mostly used for session period so so in between session if the session is up or uh, down to know the status of the session a enquire link message is used so this enquire link command enquires the session uh, status so another is inactivity timer and the transaction timers so these are just timer expiry uh, this calculates so alert notification i already discussed earlier so let's see friends if you are i have already discussed about the bind uh, bind various types of binds request various types of binds possible for esme so let's see today just uh, check my earlier video you will get a good description of all the bind uh, various kinds of bind requests possible. So I already discussed about bind transmitter earlier where bind transmitter can only send the messages. So uh, so what are the possible messages bind transmitter can send? It can send submit SM, uh, query SM, uh, replace SM or uh, so all these messages that ESME to SMSC is possible the bind uh, bind transmitter can send and receive send and receive the response but bind transmitter cannot receive any message from the smsc directly so these are the possible messages so if you do an esme as a bind receiver so it can receive the messages like deliver sm it can receive uh, that means the delivery report it can receive or data sm it can receive and if you uh, bind as a transceiver so it can do everything it can receive data sm it can send data sm response it can send submit sm it can get a submit sm response so all these messages is possible with esme to smsc and smsc to esme so friends this is all about uh, smsc various messages types and uses of uh, various message types so this is all about uh, all about the description so if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i will be giving a full description of these messages in my next videos one by one so uh, you will get an in-depth description of all the messages that i have discussed just now uh, so uh, friends uh, next videos you will be getting all the uh, descriptions so if you like please uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get uh, the latest notifications here i have uh, uploaded more videos related to c web ss7 as well as uh, uh, there are various videos related to CP and uh, YYTC as well. These are some interesting videos. If you like, to, if you want to check these videos, you can view these videos as well. Thanks, friends. Thanks for watching.